very important question that shows the great tolerance of Islam. Can we invite non-Muslims to our mosques? It's not only a can, but we must. This is the place of Dawah. Okay. They, all people, non-Muslims at that time, used to come to the Prophet ﷺ in his mosque. You know, the person who came to the mosque, the Bedouin, and he tied his camel outside, and he started urinating in the side, inside the mosque. <laughs> the mosque was not carpeted like this, but it was just like, he didn't know that people were there, and he just wanted to the corner, and he wanted to urinate. And what did the Prophet ﷺ do to him? The companions went there, say, oh, shouting to say, no, 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 no. Let him finish. He's going to pollute everything. <laughs> you see the tolerance of Prophet Muhammad yeah. We don't realize the tolerance of Islam. We give sanctuary, sacredness to the carpet, to the walls, but we don't give it to the people. People are more sacred than the buildings. Okay? So this man came to the Prophet and he became Muslim. Another one brought to the masjid. Non-Muslims used to come to the Prophet in his Masjid. He didn't have a court. He didn't have a palace. His house was very small to accommodate him and his wife. Not even his wives. If they were gathered in one room, it would be enough for them. So the masjid was the place to invite people. So bring non-Muslims to our masjid. And this is the problem with Muslims. They think that non-Muslims are najis. Impure. Impurity is not in... Maybe some of them are cleaner than us, non-Muslims. They wash. They brush their teeth. Some Muslims mouth you see smells bad although we recommend it to use you see I mean it so the impurity is is because of the faith it has nothing to do with the body of those people because a Muslim could marry an un-Muslim you see and she'd be the mother of his own children and he would respect her take care of her feed her you know treat her in the best way and her children would love her would respect her would take care of her although she may continue as an un-Muslim and her children will be Muslims, yeah. We've got to realize that this deen comes as rahmah. As rahmah. Don't, and even if you remember last time when he talked about uh, how the Prophet ﷺ dealt with people of Mecca. Okay? This is a religion of rahmah and a religion of justice as well. Okay? So let's invite those people. Bring them to the masjid. Let them see. Let them hear the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't keep them away from the masjid. Bring them to the masjid. Many of them would respect the masjid. Okay? This is what we would ask them to do. Just respect the masjid. Even if they didn't respect the masjid, we'll bring them here. So they would listen to the word of Allah. You raise al hujjah okay? You make it clear to them that they will be questioned in front of Allah. Okay? So bring non-Muslims to the masjid. We used to bring many here. And some come as non-Muslims and they turn out to be Muslims. Exactly.